Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel called Statistics from A to Z, Confusing Concepts Clarified. These videos are based on content from my book of the same name, which is published by Wiley. For more information on the book and these videos, please visit statisticsfromatoz.com. This video is one in a playlist on probability distributions. The playlist is planned to include a three-part series on distributions as a whole, plus individual videos on nine different types of distributions, and this one, which is a property of distributions. There will be a related playlist on variation, which is also a property of distributions. See statistics from a to z.com slash videos for the latest status of this work. As usual in the book and in these videos, we start by going through a list of keys to understanding the concept. This is to give you, all on one page, the key things you need to know to understand the concept. And then we'll go into detailed explanations of each of the keys. For this video, there are four keys to understanding, or KTUs. The first key tells us that skew is a property of the shape of a distribution or sample of data. Skewness is a measurement of skew. The second key says, in statistics, the direction of the skew is the opposite of that which we use in everyday language. The skew is in the direction towards which the long tail of the distribution points. KTU number three states, there are rules of thumb for what the skew can tell us about the relationship between the mean, the mode, and the median, but these don't apply for all distributions. The fourth and final key states, there are many different types of skewness with many different formulas and names and symbols. Understand what type of skewness measure your software has used for your specific data set and identify that measure when reporting your results. And here on one page are the four key things you need to know to understand the concepts of skew and skewness. You may want to pause the video at this point and read them all together. Key to understanding number one begins by saying that skewness is a property, that skew is a property of the shape of a distribution or sample of data, and skewness is a measurement of skew. There are three categories of measurements which describe distributions of data. The first category is central tendency, also known as center. There are three different parameters commonly used to describe central tendency. These are the mean, the median, and the mode. The second category is variation. Variation is also known as variability, dispersion, or spread. And examples uh, are range, variance, and standard deviation. The third category is shape, with skew and kurtosis. We can say that a distribution is skewed to the left or skewed to the right. Usually the, word, the term skewness refers to the measurement of skew. As such, skewness would be a parameter for a population or process, or a statistics for a sample. Kurtosis, by the way, is a measure of how pointy the distribution is. Key number two begins by saying, in statistics, the skew direction is the opposite of that in everyday language. Here we use the term distribution to include any collection of data. It could be a population, a process, or a sample. When looking at a curve like this distribution, the average person would focus on the bulk of the area under the curve, which is to the left. They would say it is skewed to the left. But in statistics, we say it is skewed to the right. And since positive numbers on a graph are to the right, we say it is positively skewed. The value of its skewness measurement would be positive. KTU number two goes on to say, the skew is in the direction toward which the, the long tail of the distribution points. Here's a visual memory cue that may be helpful. Look at these images and think the tail wags the dog. It is the tail that defines the direction of the skew, not the bulk of the dog's body. In the, 
distribution on the left, the bulk of the distribution is to the right, as is the bulk of the dog's body. But the long tail of the distribution extends to the left, so the distribution is said to be skewed to the left and the skewness is negative, less than zero. The distribution in the middle is left-right symmetrical, so it is not skewed in either direction. The long tails of the two dogs point equally to the left and the right. This distribution's skewness is zero. And for the distribution on the right, the dog's tail and the distribution's long tail point to the right. So the distribution is skewed to the right. Its skewness is positive, greater than zero. It may also help to think of the distribution as being stretched out in the direction of the skew. KTU number three. There are rules of thumb for what the skew can tell you about the relationship between the mean, the mode, and the median, but these don't apply for all distributions. For example, some books say that for left skew distribution, the mean is less than the mode which is in turn less than the median, and for right skew distribution it's the opposite. The median is greater than the mode, which in turn is greater than the mean. Looking at simple shapes like those on previous slides, this might make intuitive sense, at least the relationship between the mean and the mode. But distributions can come in all sorts of shapes for which these rules of thumb may not apply, even a simple bimodal double humped distribution can be a counter example. So, it might be best to avoid such general statements about the mean, the mode, and the median. In my book and videos, I have noted that statistics sometimes has several different names and symbols for one thing, and I try to list them all. For skewness, however, this may be an impossible task. Carl Pearson, the noted statistician alone, had at least three different formulas for different measures of skewness. And unfortunately, a book or paper may refer to Pearson's coefficient of skewness without spe specifying which of these different formulas are used. There are also a percentile coefficient of skewness, a quartile coefficient of skewness, and an L-skewness in various moments of co moment coefficients of skewness. Symbols for skewness include S k sub p, S k sub q, k, mu sub 3, b sub 1, g sub 1, skew of x, and d skew of x, and more. Also, different formulas for skewness are used with different types of distributions. Since the formulas for skewness can involve calculations that are cumbersome to do manually, uh, involving summations of differences, for example, software is usually used. The caveat here is, KTU number four, understand, understand what types of skewness measure your software has used for your specific data set and identify that measure when reporting your results. Okay, that concludes our clarification of the concepts of skew and skewness. If you liked this video, please remember to press the thumbs up like button on your screen below. Now I'll be making more videos of some or most of the 60 plus concepts in the book if folks like you tell me that more videos are wanted. Please subscribe to this channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Also, the website statisticsfromaetoz.com has a listing of available and planned videos. Now, videos like this one can be very helpful, but they're not very handy when you want to quickly look up something on the job while studying or during an open book exam. For that, nothing beats a book or an ebook. You can also learn more about those on the website. And I'd recommend, recommend following my blog at statisticsfromatoz.com slash blog. I've got some things there that hopefully you'll find interesting, like a statistics tip of the week series, as well as posts showing that you are not alone if you're confused by statistics. I'll also be posting on the Facebook page, Statistics from A to Z, and on Twitter as at Stats A to Z.